Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the SketchUp Arc Studio new tutorial. This is about the interior rendering in the Enscape with using SketchUp 2023. So before we start this tutorial, like and subscribe our YouTube channel and let's get to work. This is my 3D environment, simple modern kitchen with the simple HDRI related to the Enscape. So I don't have any special thing in here and I just want to show you how you can render interior at night so we're gonna use artificial lights like the sphere light, spotlight, line light, rectangle light and other type of things on it so I click on the scene number 7 and I'm gonna click on the uh, Enscape objects in here for creating my artificial lights I click on the sphere, double click and add it to my screen very simple and easy so uh I'm gonna flip my ceiling and roof with my lights on the blue axis and move them a little bit to the correct place of them on my 3D environment. So I'm gonna adjust my light position from here to here and I want to select some recommended light position in here. I want to select the middle point of it, very simple and easy. For this reason, I'm going to decrease the uh, Lumion intensity a little bit, something about 60 and light source radius is important. I am going to talk about when render has been done. I adjust my light position at the middle of my kitchen because it's really important where is your light source. So I'm going to adjust my numbers very simple and easy. For example, in this place, some number like series 6 can be good. Now I want to take some copy of my sphere light to living room and select both of them and another copy to the uh, hallway as you can see hallway is done right now these lines on my roof is my hidden lights and I want to talk about after these lights so I'm gonna flip it again now all the placements has been done for me so I'm gonna check the scene number 7 and now I came back to my previous frame so as you can see this is our kitchen so I'm gonna draw some straight line in here because I want to create my spotlights for this reason you need some help line I'm gonna click from down to up and up to down and down to up again as you can see a spotlight created for us if you do this work reverse your spotlight will be move the light to the upstairs so I'm going to reduce the size of my spotlight and beam angle. As you can see, when I decrease the beam angle, the cone angle will be decreased too. And this is one of the important things in here. So, I'm going to decrease the beam angle a little bit, about 30 degree or maybe something about 40 degree can be good and add it to these ready asset lightings. So uh, I'm going to move this spotlight to the center point of my light. Alright, I download this asset from the Enscape library. It's really high quality and it's one of the famous lights in the Enscape. And you can use in your interior design. So I take some copy of my spotlight. Now we have some rectangle light for our mirror. This is the mirror in here and I'm going to select the uh, Enscape objects draw another line in here rectangle light and use these help lines to keep your light much fits with your 3d environment so i'm going to rotate my rectangle light in here and i can't scale it so i can use whites and lengths in my enscape object setting and change the uh, size of my rectangle light so actually the lens is the uh, about some number about series 6 and I want to add it to the uh, Enscape object setting directly series 6 and now it fits my, my mirror so the width is not important but you can use some scene some thin lights in your lighting and it's about 1 cm and good the set value of the luminous power is about 40 is good or 20 is better so I'm going to close it, take another movement into the mirror 
And now I need another simple copy to the downstairs. Flip it and move it to the downstairs again. All right, something like that. So I'm gonna change these materials to the lights, but I don't know how. So I'm gonna open the Inkscape Material Editor. I have hide lights in here. I click on the sample paint, and Inkscape Material Editor will detect it for me. So I'm gonna change the type of it to the uh, self-illuminated. So I'm gonna click on it, check the self-illuminated. Now my material converted to the light. So. I'm going to reduce the luminance about 2400 candle per meter and change the light color something like the warm colors for example wheat or green or some colors like the pink color. I change back to the scene uh, number 7 now I want to click on the model info page I use before I start my interior rendering. If you like this video like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Let's get to work. Uh, for this reason, I'm gonna use the uh, Enscape engine. So I'm gonna click on the start Enscape in here. It takes a little bit time and it depends on your config and your system. If you use some good accelerators and hardwares, you will not have some special problem. So this is our interior as you can see. And we have all of these lights in here. When I press F and I click on the view management actually it's set on the night mode my scene number seven set on the night mode and now i'm gonna start rendering first of all this is our time of the day i can change the time of the day and i press number seven another time it come back to the night mode so i'm gonna minimize my windows in here very simple and easy. Click on the visual setting, change the rendering quality to the medium. And I'm going to start with the sphere light, so I'm going to select it and click on the Enscape objects. When I increase the luminance intensity, as you can see, we have some high burned highlight in our environment, and it's not realistic. You must control your lights and the light's power. And the shadow source, when I increase it, as you can see in the environment, we have some diameter sources and it's not realistic because you can see the light source very bad very very bad and I'm changing to the uh, number one in here and change the luminous intensity about 54 now it's good what happened if I move my light as you can see when I move it the light source and light energy will be changed so I'm gonna use it at the down cases and use this option for the other sphere light. So I'm going to decrease the uh, intensity to the 20. Now it's much better. And I'll render balanced in this scene right now. So I select these three sphere lights in here. Very simple and easy. Click on the uh, move option in this place and move it to the downstairs. Very simple. So my uh, sphere lights set right now. Time for the uh, other lights like the uh, spotlights. So I'm going to click on the scene number 7. Click on the spotlight in here. Enscape objects. And do the same for the uh, spotlights. You must play with them to reach to some good number for your lighting. Alright. All of these jobs has been done right now. So uh, I'm going to play with the beam angle or the luminous intensity. As you can see. When I decrease the beam angle, the light will be focused on some one point in your 3D environment. And if you have IES profile light, you can use them. But I use spotlight and it's good. So, the point is that some of the ready assets, like the lightings in here, have some auto light in the night mode. And it's really good for the landscape. As you can see, this one and other one in the living room. So. I'm gonna go for the uh, these high hidden lights in here. We convert it to the self illuminated. I find this light from my Enscape Material Editor, and change the intensity of it. As you can see, the environment affected by it very simple. And when I control it, I can see different type of lights and shadows on it. So uh, I'm gonna click on the color advanced. 
copy my RGB code in here and paste it on my Lumion's color very simple and easy so as you can see it's really easy and Enscape is one of the best rendering engines so you can use it in different type of projects sometimes your graphic card will crash like this it depends on your graphic card don't worry you have two ways to fix it first way is to change your rendering quality to the draft if it's not work you can close it and start Enscape again I use NVIDIA GTX 960 2 gigabytes and it sometimes can be crashed in some heavy renders but not always sometimes it's very rare so I'm gonna start rendering with the save frame so I click on the save frame in here as you can see we have some frame right now I change it to the custom for now I'm gonna change my custom resolution about some number like the uh, 9020 to the uh, 4040 and I'm gonna change the sky cloud setting to the zero because I need some clear sky for my easy calculation of the global illumination and GI so I came back to the atmosphere some brightness is good but not this sky look at the window if I increase the night sky to the uh, 300 percent we have some bright sky outside and it's not really work right now because it's working the city renders shadow sharpness is about 26 is good artificial lights look at the screen what happened if I increase the artificial lights right now if I increase the artificial lights all lights related to the spite light and sphere light will increase my brightness in the screen so as you can see I change it to the 156 and ambient brightness useful in the daylight but I change it a little bit we have image options in here for the image option I usually use auto contrast but if you want to change it manually you can change the highlights or the shadows but watch out because it's a little bit hard to set it by manual I want some warm colors so I want to saturate my textures and colors when I increase the saturation actually the red color will increase in my scene and screen and render and when I decrease my color temperature to some number about 4400 Kelvin I have some warm render and warm environment lens flare, balloon, vignette, chromatic abbreviation not useful right now Let's get to the camera setting. FOV and field of view must be zoom on my object and subject. My object in here is the kitchen. So I want to focus on it. But I'm not sure about my camera position. So you can change your camera very simple and easy by walking in your environment. So I'm going to click on the two point perspective because I need all lines straight in the one head and visual setting in here. So when I play with the FOV field of view and decrease it or increase it, I can see the changes in here. I change rendering quality to the high or ultra in here to see all the updates very realistic and near to my final render. So all the things are good right now. When I increase the exposure, all the brightness of my screen will increase. And some number about 72 is good in here. Color temperature a little bit warmer, something about 3600 Kelvin, and the lens flare not useful right now. Uh, we need sharp render, so I'm gonna decrease bloom to the zero percent. When I press it to the zero, as you can see, we have sharp render. Vignette is about 10, and we don't need chromatic abbreviation too. So I came back to the output. Actually, if I want to tell the truth, I'm not really good with this type of resolution. So I'm going to change it to the portrait resolution. Something like that. Something like this. And it's much better than the past. So I'm going to change the FOV and decrease it to zoom on my subject and object. As you can see, it's about 40 degree in here. And... I can adjust them but everything is good right now I think so all other options in here is good saturation is about 114 
all the settings check everything is done artificial light can be a little bit get more effective so i can increase it right now output and the main bar so depth field dof when i increase it i have focal point i want to focus on these lights and these chairs in here so i hold it in the, this situation and position depth of field i can increase it look at what happened the back side of the chair is blur and it's not realistic because kitchen is important too so i change it to the six percent in here and it's good right now the final thing we left in here related to the rectangle light and we can edit it after all of these jobs in here so when i change the light color When I change the light color, as you can see, we have immediate change in our screen and render. And always select some normal and standard light colors, like the white or light yellow. So, I'm going to click on the white MDF, one of my main materials. I need some high glass and reflection, so I reduce the roughness about 16%. After that, we have wood number 42. And it's about this body in here. I decrease the roughness about 10%, but it's a little bit high reflective. So I think 22 can be good in here. All right. The tint color and main color must be converted to the white because I need brighter material. So normal map is about 122 in here. The specular is about 56. Everything is done right now and close it so as you can see we have mirrors in here but we can see in the render so i'm going to move them with the uh, move tool in sketchup now we can see the lights on mirror very realistic and very good for the users so i can click on the enscape object and change the luminous power i can increase it or i can decrease it Sometimes these type of lights can crash in your renders, but you can fix them with moving them in your 3D environment. So, Enscape material has been done in right now. All the materials check. I want to convert my mirror much reflective than it. So, I'm going to reduce the roughness to the zero and change the transparency from transmittance to the cutout. Now, we have some mirror so i changed the metallica to the 90 percent and as you can see mirror has been created for us so image fade is not important convert it to the 100 if you like this video like and subscribe us and let's get to continue this render to the final so the tint color is about white everything is good right now you can change it to some warm color in here and when I move it, I can see the effects of my light on my surface. Very simple. So, all the jobs has been done right now. Time for the uh, fixing some little problems. I think everything is done. So, I'm going to click on the uh, visual setting again. Actually, outline can be help me to detect my kitchen partitions. So I'm going to increase it to the 8, something like that, or output. I want some better output, for example, 1440 to the uh, 2560 is a better resolution, and everything is done right now. I want to render it, so I'm going to click on the desktop, render interior night, and press save. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please support us, please share this video, like and subscribe our YouTube channel for more tutorials. I love you guys, I hope you enjoy this video and goodbye.